Okay, so this is the last untouched ports. We got intake and uh, exhaust. So again, everything is kind of really tiny. And what I've done is, I haven't done one of these before and some parts of this thing look pretty thin. So I'm just kind of being cautious. So I'm just kind of open up the bowl areas a little bit, blend everything in there a little bit and uh, open up the exhaust we got, uh, exhaust ports and port matching the intakes. It's it's pretty substantial, probably an eighth inch all around. These are almost, these are, yeah, a little bit bigger. I think the exhaust ports are getting opened up to something the size of a, of a flathead. That's what I was just showing you. They probably only make one gasket, so I'm uh, matching it to that and to the headers I already did. So got an extra port compared to a flathead, but um, yep, hopefully this is the last part. Start grinding the valves after this, clean it all up, and uh, get this thing put together. So if you've ever seen ports on one of these, you, you really know that you do have to do something. They're just way too small. So, port matching, almost got the other ones figured out. This one needs a little bit more. Let's see around the edge there. Got the rest of them pretty close. Just takes time. A little fun fact what I like to do is just get get it close and then I can work on tapering this or getting this whole choking thing out of here open this up after but once you establish the outer hole then you can kind of blend in with bearing in mind not to you can see it in there not to cut into the passages I think it's pretty thin on this so again I'm not going crazy. I'm not going to be making 500 horse with this thing. I just want it a little better than it's supposed to be. But uh, if you cut in a water jacket, you've got big problems. So as you can see, it, it takes a little time. I'm not done by any means. I'm gonna uh, raise the ports here just a little. And then the main thing is just opening up these bowls. That's what I'm gonna try to do, blend up, just kind of take any sharp lines out of here. Um, what's huge is on this thing and the, this thing's and the flatheads is you gotta take, take this big old there's a big square corner right there. Take that out, gasket match it. Just kind of smooth this out a little bit so it goes out the port. Those are huge. Also, um, 
the tips. The little ball could be really useful, especially for in here. This little taper is pretty good. I had a bigger one and a square edge one, but these are the most common ones that I use. I can't remember, I got this on eBay or Amazon years ago, but uh, I've done probably five or six engines. Iron, uh, the aluminum's a piece of cake. That goes a lot faster. The iron's a little tougher. Okay, so starting to look pretty good. Again, not going for gold. I think all you do, since there's no flow meter or anything here, I just wanna open this up and make sure things are going straight and there's no like bell shaped thing going into the port. Raise and blend the, the roof a little bit. And then I'm just gonna take the ball apart and get in here and open these, um, the area around the valves, the sides of the bowls, open up the bowl slightly. Again, I'm just gonna take this little hard line out of there. These are really small. I don't remember what my flathead was. I, I did it years ago. Maybe it looked like these. Maybe this is just a miniature version. They might even use the same valves, but open that up, round these out a little bit, and I'll start doing the exhaust ports on this side. Okay, so a couple pointers. Do not hit the valve seat with this thing and don't hit your uh, your valve guide area. Flatheads, it's, as you know, it's this two-piece thing, so stay away from that. But these things have just a really, really hard line that comes up there, so I'm just trying to relieve that a little bit and just open up a little more space around the valve. Next, get in and raise the runner on this side and blend this in a little bit. You can use the ball or this, whatever is, is, is handier, but a couple pointers there. So stay away from the uh, valve guide, otherwise you're gonna have like, a lot of work or have to take it to a machine shop. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. Just raise the roof a little bit here. Just blend this out a little bit so it's, you know, it's gonna come in this runner and you want it to go right into the cylinder and not have too many obstacles. Again, I'm not trying to alter it greatly and I don't wanna hit the water jacket or cut this thing up. So I'm just doing a little, a little bit helps. I'm not drastically altering the factory design. <clears throat> I think with my Packard straight eight that I just did, that's the last video I did with porting. Um, I rounded this off and opened up these shrouds a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna do that um, just because that had a high compression head on it and it was about nine to one, which is a lot for a flat head. Um, compression does make more power than, than flow. Um, if, you, if, yeah, if you can get more compression versus flow, do the compression, you'll make more power that way. So I, I think maybe, maybe I'll change my mind. I think with the flat head forward, 
the pistons were down like a sixteenth of an inch from the deck. I have a feeling this thing has been has been uh, resurfaced or redecked down maybe quite a bit. Um, so if that's the case, maybe I'll come back and flow these out a little bit. But as of now, I'm going to leave them alone. Okay, I think I'm done with the ports. Here are the exhaust ports. Now, this engine had very small ports on it. In general, I'm sure these are only made for the flathead Ford, and this must be that size. I hogged out all the other sides. It seems to be fine. Um, so this is significant that you can open these up. Um, like the flathead Ford, I distinctly remember this. Um, there's a little corner right there, so you have to just grind that out. And then all you have to do is just um, have this radius come out this way and just gas it match this way. So this very edge here, all you have to do is just cut it to the line and kind of at that angle, and that's that's good. But this, I really highly doubt there's a water gasket in there. I mean, a uh, water jacket in there. So I think you can really open this up to the corner because how would they put that in there? But yeah, I guess anything's possible, so be careful. Okay, well, I guess that was a one taker. So, probably could go more. I'm just afraid that there could possibly be something in there. But anyway, that's uh, that's a lot better than it was. This feels a little rough up here. Gotta do a little bit more. Um, but anyway, that's the gist of it. It's a hell of a lot better than before. Here, there's a stock one over here. Just it's tiny. See the Sharpie line? Kind of a crude casting. I'm just kind of smoothing them out. Maybe this one was a lot worse originally, but anyway. Okay, I've been working on this for a little bit. It's getting, it's getting pretty good. Close the gasket. Way better than that. You can see the difference. I mean, what do you think is going to make more power? Something that lines up, or something that's not even close.